OK, let's solve the equation 2x over 3, take away a quarter, equals 3x plus a half. I really don't like this um, equation because it's got lots of fractions involved. It's got the two-thirds, the quarter, it's got the half, and it's also got a, a whole number of three x's there. So I really don't like it because of the fractions. So what I'm going to do is, first step, I'm going to deal with getting rid of the fractions. To get rid of the fractions, I'm going to make use of LCM work. I'm going to look at the bottom line of these fractions, 3, 4 and 2, and think of the smallest number that 3, 4 and 2 can all go into. That's called the LCM of 3, 4 and 2. Well, the smallest number that will, will uh, work for these numbers is the number 12. So what I'm going to do is change all these bottom lines of the fractions, and there's three of them, into 12s. I'm going to leave the 3x exactly unchanged, and I'm just going to change these three fractions to identical fractions, but which have 12 on the bottom line, which is the LCM of 3, 4, and 2. Okay, the smallest number that 3, 4, and 2 go into, which is 12. Okay, so what do I do to 3 to turn it into 12? Well, I multiply it by 4. So to keep this fraction the same, I've got to times the top by 4. So 2x times 4 is 8x. So I've times the bottom by 4 times the top by 4. That is the same thing as that. It looks different, but it's the same thing, just like 2 quarters is the same as a half. Do the same thing for this fraction. 4 needs to be trebled to get 12 on the bottom. So to keep the fraction the same, you treble the top line. 1 times 3 is 3. The 3x has no fraction involved, so just leave that identical. It doesn't change. The 2 needs to get changed into 12. So I need to multiply the 2 by 6 to get 12. So do the same thing to the top. Times that by 6 to get 6. 1 times 6 is 6. So we end up with this. It's still got three fractions in, but now every single bottom line is the number 12. We can now get rid of those 12s by simply multiplying every single term in that equation by 12. So I'm going to times every single term by 12. If I times this by 12, the share by 12 disappears. You just get 8x. You can just cross the 12 on the bottom out. It just disappears. I'm going to times this by 12, so the share by 12 on the bottom just disappears, and you get minus 3. Don't forget, you've got to times this by 12. That's the biggest mistake people make, forgetting to times this by 12. That doesn't stay as 3x. 3x gets times by 12, it becomes 36x. And then you times this by 12 as well, the plus 6, share by 12, if you times it by 12, you just get the plus 6, which is the top line of that fraction. So there you go, we've got rid of all the fractions now. And we've got x's on both sides, so we collect the x's on the side with most x's, which is the right hand side. So the 36x stays where it is on the right. The 8x gets dragged across the other side, swaps to become a minus 8x on the right hand side. And then the numbers, the 3 and the 6, go to the left. Well, the negative 3 is already where I want it, it doesn't swap sides, so it doesn't swap signs. And then the plus 6 gets dragged across to the other side. It swaps to become a minus 6. Let's tidy up. A minus 3 with a minus 6. Don't think that two minuses make a plus. They don't. Not in this particular case. They do when you multiply them, but not here. Minus army 3 meets minus army 6, or a number line if you like. You get negative 9. And then 36x's take away 8x's. You're going to get 28x's on the right hand side. But I don't want 28x, I want x. So finally, to go from 28x to x, you share the right by 28. So you share the left by 28. You take the minus 9 and you share it by 28. That's not a nice number, so let's leave it as a fraction, minus 9 28ths. And that's the answer to this equation.